Okay. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, reducing fractions. And uh, as you can see that uh, reducing fractions, uh, we're going to start with uh, three things that we need to know about fractions. We need to know what, what the factors are, what the common factors are, and what the greatest common factor is. And so as we look at these uh, things here, when we talk about reducing fractions, we need to know that a, um, um, a, f a fraction is merely just two numbers, a numerator, the top numbers, numerator, and denominator, that have been multiplied times factors. And so um, let's, cause, let's just kind of break the number six up and the number eight up and see if there's any numbers that are the same between those two, okay? Uh, those, th that's what we're trying to do. We see what numbers are the same. Let's see. Six is a factor of one times six equals six, right? And six is also a factor of two times three equals six. So one times uh, six equals six and two times three equals six. So we have the factors of one, six, two, and three. So let's see, let's put them down here. Let's list them in our common factor, or let's just list them in our, well, we, we'll list them in our factors later. Let's, let's just find out what the factors of eight are. Okay, so the factors of eight are one times eight, because any time you times anything times one, it's gonna be itself. One times eight equals what? Eight, right? And then, so uh, what is another factor of eight? Two times four equals eight, and so since two times four equals eight, we see that these factors here are similar, but not a little bit different. Let's find out which ones are actually the same as in the factors of six and the factors of eight. Now, I made a little line here, a little broken line here to see, show you the difference between the six and the eight. Let's see. The one is the same, isn't it? So let's circle the one. The one is the same. That's a common factor. So let's put one as a common factor and one down here. Uh, the two is the same. The two is the same. So that's a common factor. Let's put two down here and two here. And then what about the three? Are there any threes? No, there, there are no threes between uh, six and eight. But uh, uh, how about the uh, four? Is there any fours? Um, no, we don't find any fours between six and eight. How about uh, eight? Is there any uh, eights in between uh, this? Any relationship? No, they are not the same. So are the two common factors are one and two. Between the numbers six and eight, the two common factors between the numbers six and eight are one and two, okay? So what we are looking for in order to reduce our fraction for two, uh, one, six over eight, is we're gonna need to find the greatest common factor. What is the largest number between the two common factors there, Kasia? Two. Two. So two is the largest number. So we're going to use that greatest common factor to divide that into this number six over eight. Six over eight. So let's do that up here. We're going to put it way up here. Six over eight divided by two. Two goes into six how many times? How many twos are there in six? Three. Three, right. And how many twos are there in eight? Four. Four. So that so our reduced fraction is uh, we have a reduced fraction of um, six over eight equals three over four. So that's how we reduce our uh, fraction. That's how we reduce it. We have to find the what? The greatest common factor. That's what we do. We need to find the greatest common factor in order to find that. Okay. So let's let's take a look at the next one. Uh, we have uh, factors of 1 times 9, uh, 3 times 3 equals 9. Is there anything else that equals 9? Well, I can't think of anything. How about this one? 1 times 12 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. And are there anything, is there anything else that we can do to get to, to 12? Yes? 2 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so thank you. 2 times 6 is 12. And so let's find out what the common factors are between uh, the 9 and the 12. 1, uh, there are 3's. There's a 3 and there's a 3. Uh, there's a um, common factor of 1, 3. Are there any other common factors between them? Okay, so there are no other common factors. So the two greatest common factors are one and three. 
are the actually the two factors, two factors of one and three. And what's the greatest factor? Greatest common factor? Yes. Three. Three. Three is the greatest common factor. Thank you. Okay, you're really on the ball today. Okay, so uh, let's look at the nine and the nine and the twelve. Nine twelves is equivalent to how many threes are in? We're going to use that three. How many threes are in nine? Three. Three. And how many threes are in 12, uh, uh, Jose? Four. Four. So our 9 over 12 equals 3 over 4. We need to get the greatest common factor again to be able to reduce the number. Let's do this one here. Let's see if you can do this one by yourself. Uh, write this one down and tell me what the greatest common, uh, well, tell me first, what is the greatest common factor? And then tell me, um, what is that? Yes. Greatest common factor is is like like when like when you see that like like one and for example one and two two is the greatest common factor because it's bigger than one. Yeah, yeah. But what I want to know now is I want you to be able to do this and tell me what would be the greatest common factor between five and ten. You ought to be able to look at these numbers and tell me what the greatest common factor between five and ten are. Okay. I'm going to let you pause the camera and then do it, uh, those people who are online. But then also, I'm going to go ahead and start doing it now. 1 times 5 and equals uh, 5, right? Is there anything else that equals 5? No. How about, let's go down here for the 10 now. 1 times 10 equals 10. We know that. How about 2 times 5 equals 5? 10. Is there anything else that equals 10? No. No. So our greatest common factor would be 5 because that's the largest number. But I'm going to show you that our factors are 1 and 5. 1 and 5. Our common factors are 1 and 5. And then our greatest common factor would be 5. And so if we come over here, we see that 5 goes into 5 how many times? 1 one time and five goes into equals five goes into ten two times so we've effectively reduced our fraction and made five over ten equals one half okay and that's it